I'm using two types of cloth. The outside cloth is 100% cotton. This is like a sort of a canvassy material, but anything cotton, 100% cotton is ideal. It's got a nice weave, um, something tight. And then the inside, the one that goes against your face is flannel. It's nice and soft, it's also cotton. Um, so this is a good material. So now um, what you're gonna do is essentially the pattern says, cut out a piece of each, one piece of cotton, one piece of flannel, nine inches by six inches, okay? So then what you're gonna do is take those two pieces that you cut out and lay them face to face, right? Like, so the front sides are facing each other, one on top of the other. You'll see that my pieces are not perfectly um, the same size. That is because I am a lazy sewer. I'm a lazy person, okay? So I don't do everything um, perfectly. Uh, and what's nice is the pattern is pretty forgiving, right? It doesn't have to be perfect. In fact, like I'm more interested in just getting it done than having it perfect. I know there are some people in the world who are like perfect sewers and their seams are perfect. I'm not that person, okay? But you'll do a better job than me. Okay? Take these two pieces of fabric. I lay them on top of each other so that they're, the good sides are facing each other, right? So then what I'm gonna do when I sew it is I'm gonna start about halfway down the longer edge, okay? So I go halfway and then I just sew. And my sewing machine, oh my gosh, where's my foot? My sewing machine is so loud, okay? So get ready, it's gonna blow your ears off. Here we go. So I sew till I get to the short edge, and then I'm gonna turn it, right? Can you all see what I'm doing? And that's when I get my, my piece of elastic. The elastic is seven inches. It can be any kind of elastic. This is the part that's gonna go around your ear, right? Um, but also, you, you can, if you want, make ties. There are all kinds of different patterns. Um, but I like the elastic. So I'm just gonna take this elastic, um, and put it inside so that it goes, um, tucks it inside between the two pieces. Can you all see that? You have no way of telling me if you can see it. All right, so then what I do is start sewing down the short side, right? So I'm gonna sew a little bit, and then I'm gonna go backwards, and this is to really hold the elastic in place. You all can hear me, right? Jerice, you can hear me? So I'm almost at the bottom, and then I'm going to take get the other end of the elastic and have it stick out the bottom, okay? And then I'm going to just sew that in place. And try to pay attention that it's not twisted. Okay. Well, all right. And now I'm going to turn this around. So now I've got this one corner done and now i'm going down the other lo long end this is a little innovation that i've added but i've lost it oh here it is hold on a sec you can actually add a pipe cleaner or a piece of wire i bought this wire at dollarama it was just like in a big loop it's like jewelry wire or something just like a little piece of wire um pipe cleaners are really good if you can get the, the fluff off the pipe cleaner, that's awesome. And I take it, uh, I got two more people joining us. I take it and I just put it along the top of my pattern. And then I just put my foot back down. I've actually changed the setting. I, I can change the setting of my um, sewing machine so that the needle does a different pattern. But in any case, you're just sewing this little piece of wire into the top of your face mask. And that makes a nose wire. Um, but your mask is totally fine without it, okay, if you don't have that. So I'm gonna go ahead and sew that in. So I just fold it at this extra piece of fabric. But even if you don't, you just fold it over a little bit. And 
and I get to the end, okay, and then I'm gonna turn my fabric again, put my foot back down, lift my needle, okay, and then I'm gonna get the other elastic. This is, now I'm back to the short end, and I'm gonna tuck that inside, okay? Put my needle back down, and tuck this piece of elastic in, and so, so I'm back on my regular stitch, and so forward, and go back a bit, and then back down. My fabric is kind of bunching up a bit. Move it out. And when I get near the bottom, I'm gonna just grab inside and pull out the rest of that elastic and pull it out Oops. and sew it in and sew back and sew. okay and then that's it i've sewed three like almost all four sides right so i've sewed along halfway through the bottom up the short side I added the wire up here and the wire just lets me bend just a little bit and it makes like a nose um, bend, right? Um, and then down the other side. So now I just have this opening that I didn't sew yet and I can just turn the whole thing inside out. If you want, if you're all perfect, you can like cut the extra pieces off. I'm not perfect. So all I do, <laughs> I just leave it, right? And then I'm gonna turn this fabric inside out so that it's the right side is facing out. So I think what we're gonna do, because I noticed we have four minutes left, is we will let this meeting end in four minutes and then we can come back for questions, okay? Um, because I'm almost done. So you can see so now I have this, this is the face mask, so we just have basically one more thing to do, which is, um, so I kind of tug on the edges of the elastic just to get them, you know, pulled out. And then I'm gonna just um, turn this, the open bit. I'm just gonna fold it in a little bit. And it doesn't matter if there's any threads or anything hanging off it, because we can cut that all off later, right? So I'm just gonna turn it so that I can have a seam now where I'm gonna sew that closed. So I'm gonna start from wherever you wanna start and we're just gonna sew around the edges. So we're gonna sew along the bottom. I usually start at the bottom with the open, open edge. And I'm gonna sew, where's my foot? I'm just sewing along the bottom and when I get to the open seam, I'm just gonna close it. Okay, so now I'm at the corner. I'm gonna lift up and turn my work. And this is where I start making the, the um, pleats, okay? That are the gathers by the ears. And so a couple things to know is that the should go down from the nose. So they should go like this, you know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna fold it like this towards, um, can you see how I did that? towards the, um, the needle. I'm gonna put the needle back down and I'm gonna sew right over that. And then I'm gonna do it again. So you make, you're making two pleats. And then I just fold the whole mask over, put the needle back down or the foot back down and sew over that. When I get to the corner, now I'm at the top side where the wire is. I'm just gonna sew along that edge. I'm kind of sewing the wire into place. And then I'm gonna turn it and do the same on the other edge. So we have less than a minute left in this meeting. So what I'm gonna ask you to do if it cuts us off is to just come back, okay? And when you come back, I'll finish the mask um, and, uh, and we can continue, uh, start with questions. So again, if we get cut off, just use the same link and join back. We'll all come back together. So, so you can see here's the pleats on one end 
So I'm going to try to do the same thing on the other end. I'm going to line up and fold over the material. And again, I am not a person of perfection, so I'm sure your masks will be way better than mine. I try to kind of get that pleat in place, and then I'm going to sew down the short side. And then I'm going to put my needle into the fabric to hold it, and I'm going to do it again right here. Sew it down. And, whoops. That's it, the mask is done. So when I take it out, I can cut off that edge and that's my mask, right? So you can see there's the pleats on one side, two pleats and on the other side, right? So I can fold it in half and that's my mask. So I can put it on my face. So these go around my ears, okay. Huh, pretty cute. <laughs> key things I want to tell you is please um, remember some some uh, good advice about a mask right a mask is not um, it doesn't replace social distancing you don't use it instead of social distancing right so you need if you want to use a mask um, mostly it's to protect others from your um, you know moist speaking as our Prime Minister said um, but um, uh, and you could be sick and not know it, right? So, so that's something to keep in mind. Um, so please, if you wear a mask, that's great, but please stay six feet from other people, at least six feet. Please stay home as much as you can. The mask does not replace any of that, right? Um, and then the, so some other advice is, um, wash your hands before putting the mask on and after taking it off. And when you take it off, you want to take it off by the elastics, right? So what you're trying to assume is that the front of the mask has uh, the virus on it, okay? You have to imagine or pretend that in your mind. Because why are you wearing it, right? You're wearing it to keep the virus out of your face, so it's here, right? So, um, so that means when you put it on, um, you can try not to touch it once it's on. Try not to touch it again. Um, and then when you take it off, take it off by the elastics and keep it away from your face until you wash it. And the way to wash it, you just need hot water and soap. You don't need bleach. You don't need any, like soap is the thing that, that kills um, this virus. That's all you need, hot water and soap. And just wash it and don't wear it again until it's dry, okay? And the child pattern is exactly the same, but the size is just a little bit smaller. It's seven and a half by five and a half instead of nine by six. So that's good for a key, somebody under 12. 